Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our Tuesday weather update for December the 20th. The countdown to Christmas Day, it continues on. We've got a lot of daily downpours on the way for New Zealand this week. Thunderstorms and uh, heavy rain, maybe some isolated hail. We saw it last night around uh, the Auckland area to the north and it's likely to bubble up again off and on this week across both main islands right through till Christmas Day. Now there's still going to be some large dry areas in fact, we've got a new story on our website about this, that you're going to see rain and thunderstorm icons, but you might have sunny weather. And so please do read the story on our homepage or in our app. Um, it does explain a lot about what is going on at the moment and why the weather is so uh, sunny one moment and then pouring with rain the next. Classic La Nina summer. So here is the low pressure zone that's basically responsible for the instability around New Zealand. And it's also being fed on the other side by this subtropical airflow coming out from around uh, Tonga and Fiji. And that's drifting down into the North Island, merging with that low. And then daytime heating helps to produce those big downpours. The other feature is the sea breeze. Uh, you know, we've got these sea breezes developing during the day as the inland areas heat up. And then those sea breezes will dominate which way the thunderstorms form. So they can sometimes form over there and shift that way or can move that way. It's very tricky. So our sea breezes and our mountains and ranges all play a role. So this week, plenty of them coming around the New Zealand area. It's a little cooler in the south at the moment with that east to southeast breeze. The same one that's coming in along the eastern side of Australia, refreshing, it might be also described as. And then on the other side around Adelaide, pretty hot with the nor'east winds coming through for you. The tropics, not too stormy at the moment. With La Nina, you would expect to see a lot more activity up there, I would assume. But uh, it's pretty quiet for now, anyway. The thunderstorms around New Zealand as we recorded this, so you can see it's quite active. Uh, here is the low and that warm airflow, that tropical one being fed into it. So a few thunderstorms around, certainly very unstable at the moment around the North Island with big areas of uh, downpours developing. So you're likely to see this map change. This was uh, during mid-morning here on Tuesday morning, but it's likely to change quite a bit as we go into the afternoon with a lot more covering uh, the land areas. And Australia's got some rain on the way, not so much in the way of isolated thunderstorms, but more in the form of uh, tropical low pressure, driving down over 120, 150 millimetres here. And Alice Springs gets another burst of rain, uh, another 40 to 70 millimetres in that area, in what has been a fairly wet 12 months in the central part of Australia. So let's take a look now at the forecast. Here we are for Wednesday, and you can see we've got low pressure falling apart in the New Zealand area there. Still got a bit of an easterly wind, so it won't be quite so thundery around the South Island, uh, certainly not on the eastern side, more likely inland through the mountains. Thunderstorms or isolated showers and downpours around the North Island, and we've got some wet weather uh, from a very weak low pressure zone that's fallen apart. That's moving across to the eastern side of Aussie as that high pressure zone also moves eastwards. So here on Thursday, you can see that wet weather in Australia moving in towards Canberra and then Sydney. On the New Zealand side, low pressure still stuck out at sea and downpours with possible thunder uh, along that western side of the South Island, even down and towards Southland. And in the North Island, also leaning a bit west, but all the way up, including Auckland and parts of Northland and maybe East Cape as well. So that's worth keeping an eye on on Thursday. Plenty more downpours and thunderstorms in the New Zealand area. On Friday, the South Island sees more of those thunderstorm risks. This is not rain all day. This is simply showing you the areas most at risk from a downpour or a thunderstorm as we go into the afternoon, most likely mid to late afternoon and then early evening. That's usually when we get the heaviest of those downpours with the hail and the thunder. In Australia, the wet weather moves further north of Sydney, heading up towards Queensland, although it is falling apart at the same time. So as we go into the weekend, very weak high pressure to the north of the country, but that just kind of pushes away that instability. And so uh, downpours and thunderstorms on Christmas Eve, more likely in the lower half of the North Island. And once again, right through the inland parts of the South Island, all the way from Nelson down to Southland, although mostly northern Southland by this uh, map. That's probably because there's enough of a, of a breeze in coastal areas to sort of push those downpours or keep them inland rather than in the coastal zones down there anyway. And as we go to Christmas Day, here is the big day. So the New Zealand map, a little bit hard to see, and we'll get more detailed on Friday in our update then, but you can see here some afternoon downpours along that eastern side. So if you're looking at your forecast and it shows a rain icon, 
This is why you need to go to our website and read that story all about why you're seeing thunder and rain icons this week when it might be sunny. Because you may well have a really sunny day, but then at the very end of the day, that's when you get those big downpours and then they may stay inland or they might drift to exactly where you are. So worth keeping an eye on, but it should be warm, mostly dry until later on. And that's when those downpours develop and the Norwest winds, which by the way, we were forecasting, I think a week and a half ago. So we're still seeing that set up. Now in Australia, we were forecasting a week ago some stormy weather clipping the southeastern corner. That storm's down here in the Southern Ocean. You've got the windy westerlies over Tasmania, but that's it. Further north, mostly dry, but certainly as you go up into Queensland, the, into the tropical areas from Cairns northwards, you're more likely to be getting that wet weather, easterlies coming along, showers in Darwin, and up in the tropics, some downpours around Fiji, pretty tropical too, with that warmth, that tropical warmth coming right down over you and just getting around Tonga and out towards the Cook Islands, it's looking pretty good. So that is the forecast, we'll update again tomorrow and again on Friday, and our Thursday update is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be more of a mini climate watch, uh, and that's going to be taking a look at, uh, makes me think of Dr. Evil, sorry, uh, mini climate watch, should have do the little finger. Um, for the outlook for the rest of December and the start of January. So that'll be coming out on Thursday. That's just updating La Nina and sort of two week rainfall. And our next main climate watch update won't be until the very end of January or the 1st of February, I think actually. So um, that is all from me for today though. We'll be back again on Wednesday with our next update.